Hi, this is Brian with Amazon Web Services. And in this video, we're going to take a demo of the Parameter Store, part of EC2 Systems Manager. Let's take a look. So I start with the EC2 Management Console here. And so I click into EC2. We can see that I have 13 instances running. I'm going to go down to Parameter Store. This is where we start. And if we look at my parameters, I have four parameters entered right now. I have one for an Office 2016 key with the product install key. Uh, I have a secure password here for root that is fully encrypted. If I want to, I can edit that parameter here or delete it from here. If I create a new one, let's create a really super secure password key. I'm going to use a really, really tough password. So I'll put in password one. I'm sure no one will guess that. And we hit create parameter. That's all it takes to create a parameter. We're going to move on and take that password and set that across all of my instances that I'm running out in EC2 and on my Windows instances. But I'm not going to use that password. I'll use this one instead. As you can see, it's a little bit more secure. Actually, let's add some more characters in there just to make it even more secure. And we'll save that parameter. Now what we're going to go use is we're going to use State Manager. Uh, pay attention to that admin pass is the name of this key, because that's how we'll refer to it when we go to access this parameter. So first I create an association. And then what I want to do is I want to go down and take, a, I'm going to use here PowerShell. So I'm going to run a PowerShell script. And then as far as specifying what servers to go to, I'm going to use a tag and choose the platform. I'm going to use basically do it to all of my Windows servers. And I've tagged all of my servers under a tag called platform, either Windows or Linux. And then I'll just have it update every two hours. The command we use is net user administrator. And then we refer to the SSM colon admin pass, which is our key. Now that we've done that, that state manager command is sitting there waiting. And if we look at the instances, we can see that most of them are pending. Two of them had success already. Uh, if we want to apply that association now, we hit apply now, which will cause all of them to update um, and not wait for that uh, time frame. Let's go take a look at this instance, which is already successfully completed. If we look at the associations, we can find that our run PowerShell script here will view that output. And we can see that it's successfully completed. Let's go back and see how the other instances are doing as far as updating the administrator password. And this is the password for the local admin. If I look at them, we have uh, half of them complete and a few not done yet. We'll refresh. We're down to just three waiting. And this is just the, the time frame for the uh, SSM agent. We'll once in a while pull to the command server to see what it should do. Now we're down to one. One more time. And here we'll have all of them succeeded and changed the password. So now my password on all my Windows instances has been changed. And that's a look at the Parameter Store. Thanks for watching.